Hi guys, in this video I'm going to dive into all the details about the rapid tripod system from Zeroe. They have these carbon fiber legs along with this uh, video tripod head which is the SVH15 model. The two main standout features about this tripod is that uh, it can take a lot of weight so this tripod system can support up to 33 pounds or 15 kilograms uh, when it comes to the payload of the camera package. Uh, for both the head and the legs. Another main feature is the rapid release system, meaning you have one lever for each leg, you lift that up and you can quickly adjust the height of the tripod and then lock it in place. Plus there's also a ton of other little neat things that they've implemented to this tripod that just makes it stand out instead of uh, above the competition out there. Now I'll tell you right away when it comes to this tripod is that it is very very solidly built, just like all the lenses that are reviewed from Zeroe. So it's just the materials that they use, are top quality materials, well manufactured and everything is solid. There's nothing loose or rattling on this tripod. Now something also to keep in mind is that this is not going to be really something that I would recommend that you use when traveling because it's not a light tripod but like I said in return it can support a really heavy payload. Now Siri does have another small light portable travel tripod uh, but if you're looking for like I said like a big beefy tripod that can handle whether it's a setup like what I have up here or even bigger like a full-size cinema camera with cinema lenses, matte backs, you know, wireless video system, all the accessories and bells and whistles, then definitely this is something that, that I can recommend. So first let me just quickly show you just how well the rapid release system works. Uh, as you'll notice here you have these nice levers, they're all you know al aluminum I think it is, machined very durable material. Uh, they also have these little things in here which are the locking mechanisms for the legs. So for example, if you want to unlock it, then you can adjust the angle of the leg and you have three different settings for it and then you just push it back in to lock it. If you want to adjust the height of the tripod, then again, very simple because you just release these knobs here. Now this is going to be a little bit hard for me to do uh, holding the camera too, but as you can see, I can raise it or lower it to whatever height I want. And then once I like it, I just lock it in place. Now, another thing that's actually nice is that up here, they add uh, a handle. You can detach this handle. Actually, when it ships to you, it is detached. Now, if you're ever walking with it and you do want to have a sturdy handle to hold on to, then uh, whether it's, for example, like right now, even if you want to lift up the tripod that way and adjust your height, then you can do it. Or when the whole tripod is folded, this handle comes in really handy because you can sort of carry it next to you, sort of like a suitcase. Now let me start here from the top. So when it comes to the base plate, uh, the way it attaches is that you have sort of a, a release here on this side and you have obviously a little lever up here that locks it in place. So first you would, for example, release this, but as you can see, the, you know, the, it's loose, the camera, but it will still not fall out. It will kind of get stuck in there. To completely take it out, you leave, lift this lever here and sort of tilt it out of the place and there your base plate comes out. This is compatible with the uh, Manfrotto base plates. And then to put it back in, it's the same thing. You kind of put it on an angle, it will lock here, will hold it for you in place and then you pull this lever to lock it completely in place. Uh, and you can also obviously use that to adjust, for example, your position. So on, the, on like, for example, the setup that I have right now where the lens is really sticking out forward and it's forward heavy, you can slide the tripod base plate, as you can see, this far to kind of keep it a bit more balanced. Now the other thing you'll see up here is the pan friction adjustment. So right now it's all the way basically on the lowest setting. As you can see you can pan left and right very easily. And then if you increase it, you can make it so that it becomes just uh, that much harder. There's more tension and also it uh, keeps it a little bit more steadier, right? Definitely if you have wind, for example, blowing on the camera or something like that, it's not gonna just uh, on its own move or, or vibrate. What I do like about this nub is, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has this texture here, just like the other nub for the, the tilt adjustment of the, the friction. And also just when you're turning these, like you'll hear definitely like a click and it just feels solid, like just like everything about this tripod, it feels very solid. Uh, another thing on this side you'll see is the locking mechanism for the tilt and also for the pen. So if you do want to lock off the pen, uh, you, you can do it this way. And then here you can unlock both of them. And I like that they're both on the same side. So if you're operating, for example, with your right hand here on the, on the controls, uh, you can with the left hand quickly lock both pen and tilt. Here also is where you're going to have your friction adjustment for your tilt. 
So again, you can, you can completely loosen it. And right now I'm going to also uh, adjust the counterbalance to one, to the lowest setting. And you'll see it very easy, then you can move it very fast. Uh, you can tilt it up and down. Now, of course, with like a heavier camera, like right now, it's a little back heavy if I let go of it. <laughs> and I'm going to catch it before it falls completely because I don't want it, let's say, by accident to hit the camera or something like that to damage it. Then for that, you do have here in the back the counterbalance. So right now, as you can see, this is on one setting. If I increase it to, for example, I don't know, maybe let's put it to uh, maybe four setting and we'll see. Right now the camera is level, but let's say I leave it. Ah, there, you see, it stops it. If I go increase it all the way to seven and let go of it, you see, it doesn't even let it go that much backwards. Now the same thing if I, for example, had the camera, let's say in this position, and then for whatever reason, you let go of the, 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 the tripod or you forget to lock it or something, you let go of it, you see, it just will spring back to that setting. Now, of course, if it's too strong for you, you can adjust it here. So right now I'll put it to four and let's see how that works. So you see it also just lets it go a little bit further, but it nicely kind of, uh, you know, stops it and, and uh, prevents it from completely tilting back or forward. Now, the next thing let me talk about are, for example, the arms here. So you have two of them. You can obviously take off one if you don't need it. Uh, I, a lot of times, like to have one and the other in case I need to attach other accessories to this, uh, then I have it. But like I said, with both of these, you can either detach them or adjust the angle. Once you like it here, it's locks in nice and solid. And then with this little lever, you can unlock it and you can adjust the length of it. This is the extreme, this is the longest. This will be the shortest here. Now, like I said, here on the bottom of the, the tripod head, you have uh, the lever here for adjusting the, uh, the level of your tripod head. So as you can see, you can adjust it here quickly, loosening it. And another feature I like is that they basically, like I said, you can very quickly just with pretty much one turn, you can lock it or unlock it. But let's say you wanted to completely take this off and actually take out the head, maybe replace it with another head or whatever. You don't have to, you know, you could just completely thread it out, out of the, this way. But once you have it loose, you have this little lever. Uh, once you push that lever, it will allow you to basically take this out completely. And with this thing out, you can now, you know, lift up the whole tripod uh, head. And let's say you can exchange it or put it on a hi-hat or something like that, or another tripod or a crane. And then the same thing when you want to put it back in. So you put the tripod head on there. And then as you can see, you can push this up. It will kind of lock in and then you pretty much just do like a turn and that's it. It's already locked in place. So as you can see, this is another one of these features that just makes working with this tripod that much faster. Now, all of these example shots were done with the 300 millimeter Sigma zoom lens uh, and also with the 1.4 extender. So at that kind of a zoom, any little mistake or a tiny bit of shake in the, in the tripod will result in really horrible shaky shots. So, this will give you guys a sort of a good idea of what you can expect with this fluid head. As you can see, it can produce very fluid shots, but obviously if you're shooting with a crazy zoom lens like this one or even higher, then you will want to be careful. I actually found that when I was using this tripod head, it was very fluid. Uh, there was no shaking here whatsoever. Uh, and any kind of shaking that I did see in the footage was actually because the mount for the lens itself is not the best. As you can see up here right now, the tripod head is not moving, but this thing is actually flexing here. So that's where sometimes I did have a tiny bit of a shake. So you definitely want to have a proper and sort of a very sturdy setup. And in this case, it actually would have been better if I attached my rails here and then I supported the lens with the rails instead of supporting the whole weight of the camera onto this little uh, lens mount. Another thing I forgot to mention is that here on top, uh, you know, where you attach the base plate, you have a quarter 20 attachment there and then a 3 8 attachment on this side. So in case you want to attach like a extension arm uh, for, I don't know, a monitor or whatever it is that you, you know, other accessories you might want to attach to the tripod, you have that option right in there. As you can see, the tripod does come with spreaders. Uh, I don't use them most of the time because so far, at least with the setup that I've had on this, and the amount of weight that I put on this tripod, uh, I basically didn't need it. It's the, the legs are very sturdy. But if you did want that extra support, uh, then you can definitely put this under. You can adjust the spreader so you can see the length of them and you can lock them in place. And when it comes to actually attaching them, it's also very quick. You just press this little lever here and it kind of puts it in, uh, lifts this little part up. 
and then you can attach it. We'll do the same thing here with these ones. And then once you have it like this, you can see you can lock all of these. You can also lock this part so that this doesn't move. But let's say, like I said, you want to adjust it, whether it's adjusting the length or just because you want to fold the tripod, then you can loosen these. And then if you unlock this part, you can see you can easily lift it up and adjust the, the length of it. When it comes to the bottom of the tripod legs, you, it does come with a flat base for flat surfaces, like for example we have right now, uh, that you can easily remove and just pull the rubber and then you can lift it up and you'll see you have spikes here that let's say if you're putting the tripod on some slippery surface or dirt or something that you can kind of embed these uh, spikes into, then you might want to use it. Most of the time I use it like this uh, and as you can see, it's very easy to put it back on and you can also adjust the, the angle of these that will rotate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at the Sirui Rapid Tripod system. Uh, if you guys do have any more questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them uh, either in the comment section or by doing like a YouTube short or something. Or if there's enough questions, I can do a follow-up video and kind of look into other sort of aspects and features of this tripod. Anyways, that's it for this one. My name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.